you. Okay, just give me a sec. So, um, I I have um, killed most. I only have two monsters left, but I just want to show you the transition of the um, Twitch TV. Sorry, um, I'm gonna show you the transition of the music when you actually kill all the monsters in an area. But let me just set up my stream f first to do some advertising. Sorry. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Very shameless stuff. <laughs> okay, so I am ready. Mm, game's running fine. Let's see. The camera is fine. Ish. Alrighty then. Let's continue. Kill two more monsters and then we fight Metaton. <laughs> Here we go. I think this is the this are the final monsters in the area. Ooh. You've seen enough die. I thought he. The thing is, like, I thought they he uh, and uh, Alphys evacuated the whole place, so they sh I shouldn't be fighting monsters. Take your last look. Phew, wow, how did I avoid all those shit? Pew, and the music will change. Nope, not yet. I think we have to. Trigger one more response, then the music will change. But nobody came. And now we're done. And now we fight Metaton. Determination. Okay. Mm. Right, 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 right. Why is my Twitch not opening on my phone? It's basically my second monitor. Okay. Okay. Okay, alright. Let's go. Right, let's go kill him. Right, so if I attack him, he will die immediately. So let's kind of play around a bit. Stage lights are blaring. Wait, what? I can't spare him, what? I guess not. How? So I'm letting him attack me, but he doesn't want to attack me. What? Okay, what can I do? Check. Metaton 90 attack, 9 defense. Dr. Elf is greatest creation. So he's letting me strike first, but I will kill him immediately. But what if I use an item? Is he sparing me? Well, but if he's sparing me, then I can spare him back, but he doesn't let me. So I guess I have to... Okay, I can do very little damage on him, I guess. Or miss. I can't. 
Hmm. So I can't even like... Okay. I just wanted to play around a bit. I know that sounds sadistic, but I mean like try the betrayal route, you know? How come that when I go through this um, genocide run, all of these characters, their form changes and like they they have like this heart thing on their chest. Like, hmm. So curious. Guess you don't want to join my fan club. Okay, I guess that's what? Wait, what? Is that it? He didn't even disappear into dust or something, you know? Hmm. Underwhelming. But I guess the game doesn't want to reward you by interesting interactions because the point is it doesn't want to promote you being a murderer. But, um, yeah. I mean, imagine if you played genocide for the first- I mean, you can't really play genocide for the first time. Like, to even go through this, you must know what to do. So, yeah. So, I have to face- I'm not sure if I even have to fight Elphys. I'm basically, like, more than halfway through the game, because... See, I'm in the castle already. What? I'm gonna finish the game tonight? Probably. Hmm. The elevator is in use? By who? So I think I'm gonna fight Sun soon. This is gonna be interesting. And I'm gonna feel really badly. So quiet. Right, so we need. S Where's this mystery? <gasps> Wait, is the key? Is that the key for that secret door? I stole it from the shop. Cloudy glasses, fake steak, dog salad. I want to use a dog salad on something. Mystery key, cloudy glasses. Yeah, I think that's all I need for now. <laughs> oh yeah, this part. Damn. It's a golden flower. The music's also different. Golden flowers everywhere. Ooh. There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Okay, I think one of them is <gasps> the knife. He has the knife. I will take the knife of course. I think I'm full, okay. I kinda wanna backtrack and go to your bed. It's his bed. So we're in a memory now. What is that? It's a red dot dot. What the hell is that? Our clothes. My drawing. Like what? Who is who is the red guy? Who's my bed? Wait. So uh, this is my bit, I'm sure of that, and this is Ezreal's bit, so my bit, his bit, so the red guy must be me, my drawing, our clothes, dusty toys. God, I'm getting chills, guys. I'm getting so spooky. Uh, Flowey just scares the crap out of me because he was like, it feels like he would jump off the screen and do something to me, especially if I'm an evil person. I'm so glad I'm not playing this game in the dark. Howdy, Graffy. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? He he he. Boy, today is gonna be just as fun. Oh God, I'm getting chills, guys. <laughs> Phone's keychain. What's the key for? The elevator. It's a trophy. Number one nose nozzle champs. Still has that sweater. Nothing useful. Macaroni art of the flower. For King Dad. 
It's a king size bed. The entries are always the same. I need some space. Yeah, I'm so scared. He creeps me out so badly. I know he like he's just a flower, but still, just, just his existence scares me. I'm just traumatized. I'm legitimately traumatized by the neutral ending. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms and legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me. I called out, but nobody came because I killed all of them. Okay, the key is for that door. Okay, right, 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 okay. Mm. Seems like gardening tools. Nothing useful. I'm looking for a knife, that's what I'm looking for. This is a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone's using it. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he helped me, Graffy. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything is going to be alright. He was so emotional, but for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Because you're a flower. You don't have a heart, I think. You took the key and put it in your key phone's keychain. Okay. It's trash here. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Stove top. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. I've read this already. Wow, now he's actually referring to himself. Like, I. No chocolate. So weird. So weird. Hmm. I want to I wanna unlock that area though, so give me a sec. I'm going to backtrack. Because uh, I, I, I think I might reach the end of the game. But it's going to be such a far walk. There must be somewhere I can take a boat. Hey, Matt. Back from the grave. Back from the grave. I unlocked the chain. Right, I did save, so I can come back. The date I came here. Uh, anyway, Matt, I'm actually really near the end of the game. So I'm getting chills because the flower freaks me out. And I have to talk to him. Here we go. Soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And my and believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. That's your dad. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her, Graffy, mom. I thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. She failed. Haha, <laughs> you feel nothing, not even when your mom gives you love. I realized those two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Graffy, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love, yeah. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. So everyone forgot about Asriel in this timeline? Hmm. That makes me think. If everyone forgot about Asriel, I don't know. How does, how does that change the timeline? They forgot that humans are evil because he got killed by humans. I guess that's why they were trusting of, of us. I don't know. But she, but Tori did mention like you're just like them and them refers to humans. But as I left this motor coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. I'm not smart enough to understand what he's referring to. It's 
So if, it's, if life is not worth re living, reset it. You're back in the garden. Okay, I think he's telling me to reset my game. That's what he tells you. Like, it's not too late to turn back and right your wrongs. Interested. I decided to experiment. Oh yeah, he's experimenting with the timeline, right? Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Rafi? I was amazed too. Excuse me. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing. For a while, as time repeated, people proved themselves pre predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? <laughs> yeah, that's like anxiety in general. Like, what are the consequences? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. <sighs> hmm, that just answers your question. But do they change people and do they change you? It's all, it's, it all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. Wow, that's a turn. Like, if you have anxious about people talking to you, what happens if I kill them instead and I don't have to deal with them? <laughs> I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. Experiment. <laughs> what an excuse. You of all people know how deliberate it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickles that st stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see but are too weak to do it themselves. <laughs> are you are you talking about like people who watch genocide run but don't play genocide? I feel bad because I actually cheated in Undying because most people just give up because how hard it is. Not how hard the game is but not how hard they feel when they play the game. I mean like it is like, and I always feel tempted to... I always feel tempted to like... To not kill them because I feel bad, but I still do it because it's just a game. But imagine if this was real life, you couldn't do drive yourself to do it. So I I know there's no consequence to what I do. Plus I can reset the game. So if that um like omni omniscient knowledge, like you don't really think about it. But I know some people are really hardcore gamers, so they just go into a game and pretend it's real life. So they are very cautious of their actions and they really play how tail it to what they would do in real life which i think is a really good experience to go through and i did this for um telltale games i just played the character how i would react not whether i'm right or wrong like the right route or the uh jerk dick dick ass route but more like what i would do in that situation because it's interesting to see how the outcome is like example if i was to exist in a um what do you call it a dystopian zombie apocalypse uh, environments, how would the outcome of my behavior affect me? And I see myself through these characters because I choose the actions that I believe is right for my survival. <sighs> Gotta feed your bloodlust, yeah. <laughs> uh, nowadays, even that's growing tired. You understand, Graffy. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book. I've burned every book. I've won every game. I lost every game. I've appeased everyone. I've killed everyone. Hmm. Sets of numbers, lines and di lines of dialogues. I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Graffy. Hmm. It's like breaking the fourth wall so much. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you and then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Graffy, your determination. Somehow, it's even greater than mine. That's so scary. I just have one question for you, Graffy. How did you get back to the rooms from here? Wait, what? Yeah, I, I didn't. I can't. Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left. And decided to give you a proper bur- Wait, what? Decided to give you a proper burial rather than 
hanging out in the basement forever. So she buried my body outside of the ruins and I came back to life when I reset my file or something like that. I don't understand. I think just referring to like, if I was a pacifist, but he's just assuming I died, but the human did die. Just that Asriel buried him out or the Toriel. I don't know. Toriel did one of those things. Eventually, my human soul or body wasn't strong enough. So both of us died eventually. They lost two children. That was mentioned in the storyline. So I think she, after Asriel died or turned into a flower, she buried my body, like the human body outside. And somehow I still survived. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? This dialogue was never mentioned in Passive is So Neutral. It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, Scruffy. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. Scruffy, there's just one thing left I want you to do. Kill him because he's sick of life. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then let's let them see what humanity is really like. So there's a bit of vengeance in his heart. He just, he doesn't care. He just wants his existence to end and also show that humans, I mean, he died because humans killed him. And he, so he's right that he's going to prove that humans are evil. <sighs> Despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Yeah, especially if you're a human. Then, well, I had been entertaining a few ways to use that power. He he he. But seeing you here changed my mind. Graffy, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. Hmm. So we both will be a murderous couple together. We don't even need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him, to show me them, but he just won't. Graffy, I know he'll do it for you. Hmm. Will he now? Why am I telling you all this? Graffy, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. Worthless pity. So I'm also thinking like, are we gonna have to kill Flowey or... Because he wants us to roam the earth and be a mur murderous couple together. But if I was to be truly genocide, would I kill Flowey as well? Or if... Is it worse that I unleash him and me together in the world? Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... So that's why... Wait. Oh, what's going on? Do I have to fight him now? Ha, ha. What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? He's scared of us. Hey, Graffy, no hard feelings about back then, right? This is like my theme song now, my villain theme song. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? B b back off. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. What? The music changed. I, I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You, you should go back, Graffy. This place is fine the way it is. <laughs> He's scared of me now. He can sense my lack of apathy or... How would you react when you meet someone like this? Like, I'm not just like, they won't kill you when you see them, but you just know that they're so evil and and just messed up inside. Like, when you meet someone like that, you, you don't even have to know, but you just have this very disgusting feeling in your gut and in your chest. Like, I don't want uh, to feel that. I don't ever want to meet someone like that. I want to see my face, honestly. Stop making that creepy face. This isn't funny. You've got a sick sense of humor. Mm, I'm also really curious, though. What do we look like now? We look like a poker face. Ooh. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Sans is going to be here this, in this area. The music is so creepy. I want to go back. I want to I wanna open the door. Can I go back? Let me see. Okay, I'm back down here. Shit, so I actually have to backtrack. So give me like five minutes, guys. I wanna, I have to do everything before I leave though. 
So let me do it. So I guess we have to face um, both Flowey and, and Sans. Sans is going to be super hard. It's going to be worse than Undyne, I think. And I really don't want to cheat. And since we're near the end of the game already, I guess I can spend some time trying to kill stuff and hopefully it won't take too long. Oh, it's the rift. Hmm. I thought the music would be totally dark, but it's still fine. Wait, I need some space in my inventory because I might find stuff. Okay, face stick. Ugh, did we cut someone's face off? Okay, I'm not sure where to go. No, not here. Where is the boat guy? Hmm. Can't remember. Hmm. Is it here? Down there, I think. So I need to go back to Waterf no. Okay, so is it so is it? It was in Snowden, right? Yeah. Tra la la uh oh suddenly feeling tropical. <laughs> this guy is still alive. I guess if you kill him you can't transverse. So I guess we're not killing an entire race of monsters. There's some monsters we can... Oh, the music. Okay, sorry, that's, a, that's not the way to go, it's the other way. I think there's no one left. Hmm. Steel. Tick. The, the HP is not that too good, so. Did we actually kill that lady or did she just run away? Because I don't see her in the boss fights. I mean, the monster fights. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. So it's here, I think. Yeah. So now there's no. Wait, there's still ice in there. But there are still monsters around, technically. So let's see what's in this mysterious door. Wait, what? As you fail to fit the key into it, nothing happened. What's the mystery key for then? I gotta Google it. I have a key, but what is it for? Not working. <coughs> Excuse me. Extra, where does the mystery key go? <gasps> okay, so it's actually in the ghost house, I think. So I don't know what that door is for. We never actually open it. So that place is in the waterfall place, I guess. So I have to go take the boat to the waterfall hmm
Did you miss a lot? Um, I did another stream in the afternoon bento. I most of most stuff happened then, but I am probably gonna finish the game tonight because I'm almost at the final boss. Uh, yeah, this game is pretty short if you play uh, genocide because the, you don't have to go through any puzzles. And also bento, um, I had to reset the game. So I wasn't playing it proper genocide. I have to kill everything before I fight the bosses. So a lot of it changed, but you can go through my videos if you want to see it. Like what exactly changed. It was very tough to go through. I, they guilt trip me a lot. It's a lot of emotions. <laughs> <sighs> right. Yeah, you miss quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just decided to stream during Christmas because I have nothing to do on Christmas. So yeah. Okay, the house is here. What? It's not... Can I have the key? This is a mystery key. The red house's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Ooh. Whose house is this? I'm a little bit scared. Dear Dari, Shireen's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blue Key, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like the idea. Dear Diary, I'd like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. <laughs> I love to collect diaries. Yeah. Our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. So... That leaves just Blue Key and I. Who is this person? Blue Key asked if I was going to try to become a corporal too. They sounded so resigned. Oh yeah, they're talking about ghosts. So Blue, Blue, uh, Naps the Blue and the trading dummies were all ghosts. <sighs> I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. Okay. My darling diary. I met someone interesting today. Last week, I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork and she's obsessed with all these awful cartoons. So I think that's Elf is. But she's kind of funny too. I want to see her again. Wait, is this... This can't be Undyne's house. Alright. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Whose house is this? She surprised me with something today. She sketches off a body that she wants to create for me. Wait, is this Metaton? Metaton was a ghost. Then the soul is like in in the in the robot's body, and he's talking about Alphys, a form beauty beyond my wildest fantasies, a form like that I could finally feel myself. After all, there's no way I can become a star the way I am now. Ah. Sorry, Blokey, my dreams can't wait for anyone. Okay, so this definitely is Metaton before they became Metaton, like the soul. <sighs> hmm. So, Metaton? Okay. I can't go through the other side. I want to see more. So yeah, I got the key in the Metaton's uh, lair. So I think this is Metaton's house before he became a robot. Huh, interesting. Right, okay, now we can go back. Where was it here? Yeah, we can go fight Sans, I guess. I really don't think I'm ready to fight Sans. Knowing that I barely survive Undyne. <sighs> but let's try it, okay? Okay, hmm. R3. The music isn't creepy here for some reason. Wait, I have to check if I actually kill everything in Hotlands. So where would I trigger some monsters? 
Did my save file say I was done? I gotta be sure I killed everything. Uh, well, the thing is, I can't. The thing is, when when the story goes along, um, they already know what I'm up to, so they can't even let me be nice to them. That's the thing. <laughs> the, some of the monsters are really smart, so the only thing I can do is kill them. Like I did that for an um for tutorial. But I think, you know, I was thinking of doing another play playthrough where I don't kill all the random monsters, but I kill, I betray kill all the bosses. Because that might still make my interactions with them exist. So that would be a neutral playthrough though. But with betrayal basically, I don't uh, let any of the bosses and main characters survive. Um, how do I... I hope that's all. I'm just skeptical because the music is not dark. Sorry, I kind of have to go through everything. Just want to make sure. Yeah, it's 100% death edition, as Matt says. Sorry, I have to backtrack. I have to make sure that I have killed everything. <laughs> I have to be like OCD perfectionist. Like, make sure everything's dead. I think this will tell me. Determination, but I have to check the hotlands. This is yeah, this is still considered hotlands, so I am good. I think. So what did you say? Um. <laughs> yeah, it's so quiet. So let's go fight Sans and feel miserably. Right, um, what does Doc Zealot do? Let me check. Stat. Item level. Doc Zealot heals 0 HP, recovers HP. I guess it might be a good thing. But the scratch is all good stuff. I'll equip the cloud glasses. And get cider. Okay, this should be good. And let's buy more health things. Buy, buy another one. Good, let's go. Wait, I can buy like it heals, it heals 40 HP, man. Come on, I should get more of this. You don't want to sell stuff, okay? Hold on, I just throw stuff away. So let's see. Spider Cider, twenty-four. Butter Scotch Pie, full HP. Snowman Peas, forty-five. That's a lot. Uh, cinnamon Bun, twenty-two. Okay, we can get rid of Cinnamon Bun. Uh, spider Cider. Okay, so get rid of Spider Cider. And fake steak. Let's see. 60 wow so I can keep the face steak um. <laughs> so let's get rid of spider side oh, sorry. spider cider and let's get rid of cinnamon bun I should be good now I can't sell anything I have so much money, man. Okay, we're good. I have enough stuff for HP, I hope. Or decently enough. Uh, yeah, betraying does mean I kill them, but that's not genocide. Genocide means... The word genocide itself means to eradicate an entire race, which means I kill everything and nothing lives. So, if that's true genocide, so if I just kill like the main characters and I let other monsters live, if the thing is like if I don't, if I kill all the monsters, they will see that I'm evil and they won't give me any chance to talk to them or even try to convince them that I'm good. So I can't betray them, you know. 
they think I'm bad and that's it and I have to fight them so if I really want to betray them I have to earn their trust so I can't kill everyone so if you want to play betrayal you have to go on the neutral route basically genocide means you're totally evil and you kill everything this is what I'm doing <laughs> Hello, right dupes, you're back. Okay, I'm gonna fight Sun soon, so yeah, I I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Nice sweater, oh, thanks. It's a Christmas sweater. It's the only thing I can wear because I don't have like a Santa hat. I don't have any like cost elf or whatever like costume so this is all i've got my house is totally non-christmasy because you know i don't really celebrate christmas and all of my flatmates are home during the holidays kill sansa i'll try <laughs> no promises because you know i i'm i'm gonna try my best though so yeah right um give me a sec uh Hmm. Okay. Do the heck no no. I'm gonna try. I it's Sans is one of the battles I really want to to beat because I've watched the battle scenes many times. It's so epic, I need to do it well. I wanna do it well. Just give me a chance. Believe in me. I need your determination too. <laughs> okay, let's go fight Sans. Mm. It's like the Delta Rune symbol. Where are you, Sans? There we go. What do you say? Make the fight fast. No, come on. <laughs> <sighs> I wanna, I wanna beat Sans. Like you guys probably have to wait another hour for me. But if I'm really lucky, I can actually be decent and clear this in like fifteen minutes. So let's try. Hey, yeah. So anyway, if anyone has ever seen this battle, this is the most ep well, not the most, one of the most epic bosses, boss battles in video game history. That it is. You've been busy, huh? So I've got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? That everybody can be a good person if they just try. <laughs> Alright. Well, here's a better question for you. Do you want to have a bad time? Because if you take another step forward, you are really not going to like what happens next. His eyes are so creepy. Welp, sorry old lady. This is why I never make promises. Ah, <sighs> God. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. <laughs> I won't hack. I'll try. I'll do my best. On days like this, kids like you should be burning in hell. Oof, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna die immediately. Wow. Okay, that's... Huh? I always wondered why people never use their strongest attack first. Look at my HP! What? <sighs> right. Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't want to see anything, man. I don't want to cheat! Okay, I'm just new to this. That's the problem. Wait, what? People make it look so freaking easy, man. I don't know. It does wait, I'm not wearing my knife. I'm not wearing my knife. <laughs> you know what? I'm so rusty. I have not f had any challenging boss battles. I never fought Sans, I never fought Mataton, I never fought the Spider Lady, I never fought so many people, man. So come on, I'm rusty. 
Uh, what is it? <laughs> Dude. Uh, I promise I'm a good gamer girl. I'm not. <laughs> okay, I need to equip my knife. The knife doesn't feel. I need a knife. Uh, where's my knife? Wait, where's my knife? I'm gonna. Wait, I didn't pick up the knife. Ah, uh, I gotta go back. Um, oh shit, I have no space. Um, uh, dog salad. There's so many good stuff. I think the dog salad is a gamble. How do I go back to that house? How can I go back? <laughs> Shit, I can't go back. Where, how do I get back to the ruins? The no cheat. I learn. I'm gonna learn, and you're gonna watch me learn. <laughs> <sighs> Where is the house? I didn't pick up the knife. I gotta pick up the knife. The music, man. Knife. Ooh. A real knife, not a toy knife. It's a present for Flowey. About time. So I've just been killing people with a toy knife and a glove and a book. These monsters are weak, man. <laughs> Dubs, don't be mean. Come on. I got this, man. I might not get it in the first few tries, but I got this. Hmm. Sit down here. All right. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna watch a walkthrough video really quickly. I'm gonna like mentally prepare myself. I wish I can show you guys, but I don't know how to do it. It's okay. Right, right, right. Hmm. Sans, sans. Uh, sans genocide battle. I see people play this so epic, and I can't really catch up like that. <laughs> See, this person takes like, without dying, this whole battle is 14 minutes. Is it 14 minutes? How long is the battle, man? The whole battle is 14 minutes. Oh my god, if I feel any time doing it, it'll be super tough. How long do people actually take to complete this? Like, how many hours do they grind? Mm. Right. Man, the way people move are s is so... Sorry, I'm just like watching someone play it. Like... Hmm... Okay, wow. This is high level. Yeah. High level IQ right here. I'm not gonna cheat, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna try. If you don't wanna watch me fight for an hour, then you can go. Or maybe come back in an hour, I don't know. I'm just gonna record this so and upload it on YouTube. I don't know. You look frustrated about my something. Guess I'm pretty good at my job. Oh my god, fall fall. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh. Wow. Whoa, okay, I did a bit better there. Anyway, as I was saying, it's a nice day out. Why not relax and take a load off? Mm. 
And I'm going to keep missing him until he gets like... How, how do I do this? I don't know. What? I don't get that part. Because I can't jump. Am I jumping too late or too early? Hmm. You look cool. <laughs> The expression that's the impression of someone who's died twice in a row. Stop breaking the fourth wall, man. Suffice to say, you look really unsatisfied. All right, how about we make it a third? How long does, does it get easier? Ready? Oh, fuck. <sighs> what is that pink? What is KR? Right, okay. I'm get you know what? It's maybe satisfying to watch me do a bit better every time. <laughs> uh. Oh no 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 shit fuck what uh. my brain is like uh attack increased. What is this? Well, you felt your sins crawling. This is going to be 50 minutes. Our report show a massive anomaly in the time space continuum. Timeless jumping left and right, stopping and starting. Ooh, this part. Mm. <laughs> Oof. Until suddenly everything ends. Wah! Hi! No! 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 Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, that's, I'm getting better. Uh, both sometimes too high. What do you mean too high? We're jumping too high. I'm so determined, Dad. I will get better. Come on, you know you learn as you fail. You know you can't succeed until you fail a few times. No one ever plays this game and gets it on the first time, even after watching people. That expression—that's the expression of someone who's died thrice in a row. Hey, what comes after thrice anyway? Wanna help me find out? Ah, <sighs> the fourth wall. Ready? Oh fuck! I always missed that part. Out. Hmm, here we go. Okay, what am I feeling now? I did it perfectly fine the first time. I'm so confused. Right, okay. Oh, oh. I'm gonna use like everything. Oh, what? Uh, is this getting harder every time? Okay, this part is a bit tough. It's really hard to control the heart, man. Ah! Woo! I can't really progress until I actually... What? Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I still don't memorize the... Fuck. Where am I going? Oh my god. What? Come on, man. What? No, no, no. Drop, drop, drop. 
I'm out of food. I'm not gonna progress if I keep not attacking him. Ooh, one HP. I have no items left, what really? Can I act? No. I will probably show the message, okay. When two bones come from both sides. That was what I was doing, but I have to jump, but I stay I stay in the middle. I just my jump timing is a bit off, I guess. I guess, but I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. Like twice, <laughs> queen topple quite uh, twice fries. Well, won't have to use it again anyways. Yep, I'm not ready. Uh, uh, uh. I'm jumping too much or something. I'm also not sure if I have to do anything on my keyboard. Mm. I wanna watch the gameplay again. You jump too high, yeah. But sometimes like it's hard to control with my keyboard. Like how do I control how high I jump? Sometimes one tap doesn't feel like it's being absorbed, you know? Hmm. They're jumping. When they're jumping. Hmm. Okay, I see. Like, gravity really works with the heart, so sometimes you can't really gauge how... I have to work out how the jump mechanic works, so do I reach my peak once I let go of the, the arrow keys? Hmm... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I know this is gonna be super tough. Let's just try it. If not, I don't know. Someone was like five times in a row. Convenient, huh? This one for each finger. <laughs> but soon you'll need a cool mutant hand to count all of your deaths. I always miss the first part, even can't even survive that one. Okay, it works by how when you let go, it let it falls immediately, I hope. Oh man. No! My brain. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whoop. 
Ooh, wah. Whoa. Should I use the item? I got this, I got this. Mm. Oh, wait, what? Ah. Uh, cut, jump, jump, jump. <laughs> I just can't control it sometimes. Uh, I think I'm getting there, you know. It's so crazy. I'm just like sweating, not even kidding. It's so hard. I'm sweating. I'm not even kidding. Uh, it's, it's very nerve wracking. Uh, I kind of hope that the game gets like easier somehow the more I fail to just make things. I don't know. It doesn't feel that satisfying though, does it? That's the expression of someone who's died six times in a row. That's the number of a mutant hand. But soon, you'll need to find a mutant hand with even more fingers. Thank you, sons. Uh, oh. <gasps> I know I can dodge that better. I know I can do this, man, but I'm gonna be here all night, so... Don't move, don't move. Ah, it's too fast. I don't even get invincibility at all with this guy. Zero invincibility. That part, I don't know. I, I can't, there's no point at increasing my attack because I miss him every time and I need to increase my defense and there's no point also increasing my invincibility because my heart is totally like vulnerable in blue form. Okay, let's go. I kind of panic. Once I get hit, I panic and I just lose it. So that's the problem. I've got to stay calm. Okay, this part is kind of annoying. I should stay at the bottom, maybe? Oh, my god. I got, I got this. Hmm. Oh, how, do, how, how do I avoid this? Um, mm, okay, okay, that part, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that part. Okay. I'm gonna see... Uh, what do I what do I what what do I do? Okay. Ugh, this is really tiring. <laughs> okay, we got this, guys. You could try. Yeah, just get the game. It's only like five euros. It's five euros on Steam. <clears throat> It's a good game. I kind of cheated with one of them, like one of the bosses. I will try again on my own in my free time. I'm not sure who is harder. I think Undying is harder than Sans. I have no idea. It's like you have to have like super crazy reflexes. I think like Undying's reflexes and Sans is like you need to be smart when to jump and stuff. Hey, that's supposed to be a lucky number. Who knows? Maybe you'll hit the jackpot and that number will multiply tenfold. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? I don't get that part as well. I'm not moving. What? I'm supposed to stay in the middle, I guess. Might not actually not help if I stay in the middle. <clears throat> I missed. <clears throat> oh 
what did I miss? I, I, I can't. Mm. All right, I really need to stay calm. Because once I make one mistake, one mistake is okay. Like, if you make a mistake, you fall, it's fine. But it's the fact that you make a mistake and then you just go into panic mode and you just can't play properly. Yeah, Bento, you should totally do it. Just do it. Tell me how many tries it takes you. This is my eighth try now. It's also cool that the game tells you how many times you fail because you can kind of boast to people, hey, I only took two failures and I win, I won against Sans. I wonder who has like a hundred times. Probably it does exist. Eight times. That's the number of fingers on a spider. Fingers, not legs. But soon. Wait, don't spider. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. I, I just don't understand the mouse or the keyboard. You know what? I have to change something. Maybe I can. Should I use W S? Should I use my left? Maybe I'm using my right hand. Maybe I should use my left hand because W S D. But I don't think you can do that. Can you change the controls? I. I'm just thinking if I use the WASD keys instead of the arrow keys, maybe I'll be better because I'm used to using WASD. Like it's in my muscle memory. I don't use the arrow keys much. I'm just, I just mess up once I hit one. See, those bones are going at different speeds, I think. Okay, this part. Uh, it's that's, uh, I don't fall down quick enough. <sighs> oh, no, no, what, why am I jumping? No. Uh, mm, not this again. And I fell, and I fell, and I'm gonna. I'm panicking too much. Uh. Hmm. What? What? Okay. okay. Uh, I think I got it, but it's. Mm. Wow, it's so fast now. Mm. See, they're going at different speeds. You can't understand how this feels. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting a bit more progress, but I'm using too much of my items. Knowing that one day, without any warning, it will all be reset again. Ooh, almost I got jinx for that one. Ooh. Ooh. Look, I gave up trying to go back a long time ago. Yeah, can we just keep keep getting this face? I prefer that. Eh, nope, 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 no, 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 no. That's the one the easier. No, I have no more potions. Ah. Uh. Kr. Ah, oh, come on. Mm. <sighs> How 
how's my day? <laughs> uh, they, yeah, they go different speeds, slightly different heights. A little break helps. I mean, I only started. I've been streaming for an hour, but I've not been doing anything intense the whole stream until now. So, well, I know I can do it. I really think I can. <laughs> I've been drinking coffee. I think I should not be drinking coffee. I'm um, okay, you know, I don't know. Okay, let's take a five minute break. I will go grab a drink and I will watch someone play it and see if I can learn from it. So I'll be right, I'll be right back, guys. Oh my god.
a soothing song. Is it soothing? I guess it is pretty nice. Um, I made some tea, well, valerian root. So that's basically like, if we had a healthier chiller brother, that would be valerian root. So it's actually, that's the opposite of what wheat does, kind of. So I hope it will make me more relaxed. So, uh, am I still going to continue? <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess I could just sit here and chill with the music. Hmm. Yeah, how's everyone's day been? I'm just gonna sit here and like drink some tea and just try to calm down first before I go for another round. Let's just sit, <clears throat> get comfy, and just chat. Uh, I still feel very sore. It gets really strained when you really try to focus on a game. So I'm really stiff as well. Hmm. Yeah, I basically spent the whole day, um, morning I spoke to my mom uh, and just been streaming since 2 o'clock. I took a break um, before this stream. Um, uh, I'm basically going to finish the whole game in like, sorry, two, two days. Christmas dinner tomorrow. Most people have dinners like today or yesterday. It's like, but you're having like Christmas dinner on Boxing Day. I guess the music is pretty calming. Damn, how many dinners do you have? You're gonna get fat. <laughs> I'm really getting fat and I haven't really gone to Christmas dinners. I'm just like really cold, so I just eat a lot. Tree. I mean, you have one Christmas dinner from work. Maybe you had a Christmas dinner with one of your grandparents, then your parents, I guess. So is that how people actually get fed in, in Christmas? Because they go to different houses and eat different Christmas dinners. I guess like in the Islamic holiday, um, after fasting month, we do get really fed. But then again, we've been fasting for a whole month. So it might not be too bad. Four Christmas dinners. Huh? <sighs> A lot of high calories, yes. Isn't it good for you, Matt? I thought you needed to gain some calories. Yeah, you're both skinny boys. I've been skinny most of my life. Um, I think now I'm not so skinny. I got quite chubby when I first moved to Europe. That was in... That was five years ago. I gained like 10 kilograms just within the year. Because I think during winter time, I wasn't very active and it was my first winter and I got addicted to the chocolate in the UK because Cadbury is much nicer than the chocolate back home. Ugh. I, you can eat frequently, but not much. Hmm. Eat less frequently. Actually helps your metabolism slow down. Eat less frequently. Eat more fats. Eat more ca uh, carbs. Um, less protein. More carbs. Um, get fat first. If you want to get muscle, get fat first. Um, yeah. It's really hard. it's easier to actually it's easier to advise people how to lose weight than gain weight. Losing gaining weight if you 
have a fast metabolism is hard. I did give a few tips, Matt, but I'm not sure if you actually used them. Uh, McDonald's for uh, four months, five times a week. Didn't gain any weight. Did you do anything else? Did you run or exercise? Do you eat any snacks like chocolate or potato chips? Fried food has high, uh, it's not really good, but like, I don't know how to advise people to gain weight except by eating unhealthy or just eating a lot. No exercise. Sometimes exercise increases your metabolism to a point where you get really hungry, but you unbalance yourself by not eating, wait, by not exercising. Um, well, not true. So do more calisthenics, do more anaerobic exercises. It might increase your hunger, but it will also um, not help you burn too much fat. So you can gain fat in that way. Every week, two full bags. That's quite a quite a lot. Maybe you should eat one every day. <laughs> yes, you need to stick to a routine. The same way, if you need to, if you need to lose weight, you have to stick to a routine. And if you need to gain weight, it's the same thing. You don't necessarily have to count the calories, just make sure you're eating uh, what you're supposed to be eating. You can keep track of the food. I don't know, I feel counting calories doesn't help for me, whether I'm losing or gaining weight. Three I almost read that as three gold medals. <laughs> Too much Overwatch. Um, three good meals usually. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna watch some. How do I? I wanna like. Sh hmm. I can't use the, what do you call it the. Windows. Uh, I wish I can show like my YouTube so I can show you guys the video. Hmm. Yeah, Matt can eat eggs. Eggs, eggs won't help to gain weight. Make gain muscle, but you still need to gain weight first. Hmm. I just realized how stressful playing Undertale is. Like, not even kidding. Hmm. But yeah, I am doing one of the hardest boss battles known to video game history. 
I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses, but I really think I would do better if I had my mechanical keyboard. Hmm. I just panic too much when, like, you know, when you have too much adrenaline and you start to move way too much, you know? It's like you need to stay focused but stay calm at the same time. I mean like if you're not calm you can't really focus I guess. Hello, hello. Lots of people just joined. <laughs> I'm just chilling because I got stressed out trying to kill sons in genocide so bear with me. I'm like taking a break. I need to drink some uh, brother of wheat tea. Yeah, easier said than done, Bento. <laughs> I mean, this tea is really, really, really calming. Mm, nice tea. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh. Yeah, I guess I have to fail a lot of times. But that's, that's one thing I'm wondering. I don't think it's a good thing to stream. It's something to record and then you cut. Maybe let's say if you take like 50 tries to win. You can cut, you can like include the first two clips where you fail. Then you cut out like the 40 times you failed. Then when you get to the part where you succeed, you can keep that in. But streaming a very tough boss battle, it's... I don't know, do people like to watch people fail for an hour? <laughs> Excuse me, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, always challenge yourself. So like, you play a certain game, then you keep trying to play it in a different level. I mean, different difficulty. To see how much you can take, you know, like setting yourself a new goal. This... Then you learn through repetition, you see the patterns of the attacks, so, yeah. yeah I, guess, I guess that's why not many people actually stream Undertale, it's not really a game you to, for you to stream. <laughs> yeah. Show my improvements. Yeah, but you know, I was fighting another boss on uh, Bento, so like before the other stream was like another boss, but it wasn't the final boss, but she was really hard. And I took an hour to complete it, but I didn't take an hour to kill her. I took an hour of fighting and then gave up and I used a hack that gave me infinite HP, so I actually didn't kill her. I'm not sure if I didn't use the hack, I'm not sure how long I would take. I can't understand her patterns because it's not about patterns, it's about re reflexes for her boss battle. Whereas this one is more patterns, yeah. Pacifist is easier, yeah. The, well, Pacifist has puzzles, but puzzles, you don't, you might take a bit longer to solve, but it's not frustrating, I guess. It doesn't take as long, but I think what puzzles is brain, whereas um, killing people, the mechanics is all like reflexes and I guess it's a bit of brain, but you have to have a really calm mind and you need to, um, yeah, you have to have good reflexes as well. So, but yeah, I would say that uh, pacifist is easier. Pacifist, yeah. So I guess pacifist would be easier to stream. But I already done pacifist on my YouTube, so 
Uh, I just don't like giving up. I don't, I'm not gonna give up, but I can't really uh, stream it. It will take like two hours to just sit here and try to finish the game. Because, um, I mean, I've had tough battles as well. So actually, I can link you to one of my boss fights. I think genocide one would be the closest thing. Gen, not genocide, sorry, uh, the neutral uh, boss. This is very creepy, so. Uh, what's it called? Um, Undertale. Okay. I'm gonna find that video and I show link you guys. Mm, let's see. Twenty six minutes. How long did it take me to finish this? Okay, it took me 15 minutes, no, not even less than 15 minutes to kill this boss. How many times did I fail? It's not that much, but this is an example of a tough boss battle I did. Mm. I'll send a YouTube, can I put the YouTube link in here? There we go. 26, start from 26 minutes and 30 seconds. That will show you. One of the boss battles I did. Um, I don't think it's as hard though. Definitely much easier than what I go through in genocide. Hmm. I'm quite tired. Right, so uh, I'm gonna go back to it. Let's go, boys. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Let's go back to it. Hmm. Stay determined. Well, that's that's the whole point about the game. It's like about determination, which means like it's like resilience. Keep fighting, keep fighting, because we're determined to kill people, so we keep fighting. Seven times. Nope. Wait, that's definitely nine. Sorry. Or was it ten? That was that was nine. I jumped. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm kind of frustrated. Just read. Just, just kill me. I want to go back. Cause I always forget. Nah. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. Worst comes to worst, I get off stream and I fight it by myself, and I take hours to do it, and then I record it and up upload it on YouTube or something. <sighs> Congrats, that's the big one oh. Let's invite all your friends over for a big shindig. You can have pie, blah blah blah. <laughs> Wait, something's not right. You killed all your friends. You don't have any friends. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh ah uh, my reaction time. Ah uh, I'm so bad. Uh. Come on, we got this. Nope, nope, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta stay in the middle. Okay, mm, my mind's not in it because I've. My mind's not in it. I don't think relaxing well actually helps because I kind of forget what to do. Ooh. You know what? I think I know what would help me. Uh, 
Do you hear how epic the music is? Usually what helps me when I fight a boss battle that's hard, the music is actually epic on purpose because it pumps you up. I'm gonna put it at higher volume. Let's go. Oh man, I missed. Is the music louder for you guys as well? Because I turned it up. Let me see. I feel like I'm doing a bit better. Wow, that's fast. I'm missing so much. <sighs> Okay, barely here, bro. Okay, um, I'm gonna do something. Right, uh, I can't hear it. Uh, I turn it up, but uh, desktop audio, game audio. I think it's already max, so whatever I hear, you guys will hear. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, you know what? I. I kind of feel in the zone if I turn on the music, but I kind of, this is going to sound ridiculous, but I have to be right back, right? Give me like one minute. Okay, so I took off my sweater because I'm going full on now. I'm gonna feel as liberal as I can. And I'm probably just gonna ignore everything. And yeah. Alright. Let's do it. I'm gonna put my face really close to the screen. <laughs> it's gonna be my face is gonna be super close to the screen because I'm gonna be super concentrated now. In-game sound, really? I don't know, cause because I'm just wondering if I turn up my volume, in it just picks up whatever I hear is whatever you guys hear. Listen to this stuff. Don't think I'll be able to count very well. Okay, I'm gonna be super concentrated, so I might not talk at all. <sighs> right. It 
it's a good start, I guess. Oh, come on. Mm. No, I made the stop. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm not really better already, man. You know why? Because I'm wearing stupid contact lenses. I'm gonna take them off.
so I can't find my proper glasses. So I'm just gonna wear my nerdy glasses because I can't really see properly. And this is not a good glasses. <laughs> I think I'll perform worse with these glasses, but uh it's so freaking tough, so I don't know. What I would do here is not focus on all, all, but it says my peripheral vision. So don't look at my heart, you mean? I'm not gonna cheat. Dude, I took off my sweater, I took off my contact lens. I am doing this. I look like a nerd right now. And this is how determined I am. I'm gonna do this, okay? Uh, look at everything, okay? I'll try. Let's go. I got this. I got this, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Look like my glasses, does it? I don't think so. That's I'm missing even my old glasses, so it's not even straight. But I think it's better than wearing contact lenses. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm taking your advice, Bento. Let's see if it works, okay? I can't even see if things properly these glasses. God, I really need the biggest screen for this. How do I do this part? I can't do this part. Ah. I always feel this part. Oh. No. Ooh. I got this. You can't hear the music. <clears throat> no, that's a bad idea. No. You can't hear the in-game sound, what? Why? What can you hear? You can't hear it. Why can't you hear the game? Let's hear it. Hmm. Give me a sec. Is it better now? You can hear the. You can't hear the music. Wait. Can. You, can you hear the game sound effects? Can you hear the game like sound effects or just the music? It's weird. Alright, um... It's why though. 
was when did this start <laughs> oh god it's so embarrassing oh. wait so when did this start happening when when did it start happening like when did the music stop When did the music stop happening, guys? Or the sound, anyway? Forever? Like, the whole stream? That's not possible. What? Did you hear anything in the Undyne fight? So, all this time I've been streaming without sound. Wait, so, was there music in the Undyne fight? I don't get it. I think it should... Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, you know what? Give me like a minute. I'm gonna reset my stream. I'll be right back. <laughs> 